Did you know that training with a racket that's heavier than the one you actually use can have great benefits for your game? It's a simple training technique that you can easily begin practicing. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asuncion and I've been a professional badminton coach for many years. This channel is all about helping you improve your badminton game. I make videos on different aspects of badminton from executing shots well to having a good mindset when playing. Getting used to your racket and how it performs is important if you are in the process of perfecting your game. But training with a heavier racket can boost the strength of your shots and it's something you can do on and off court. An example of a heavy racket is what you see on your screen. That is a heavy racket. It looks exactly like a regular racket but heavier and normally the weight of a heavier racket is almost twice as heavy as your usual racket. But if you do not have a heavy racket, you can simply use a racket cover as what I do on my videos which you see on your screen. I would like to stress that before using a heavy racket, you should also warm up like you would before getting on court. So I would always like to start with basic swings. What you see is what I do um, called 1-2-3, just swinging forward. It can be used as a warm-up before you actually go on court to play. There are many different ways of doing the stationary movements. You can use some forehand swings, okay, specific particular one area. Always get a feel of it before actually using it, especially if you intend to hit with a heavy racket. So using a heavy racket is intended for intermediate to advanced players. I wouldn't recommend it for beginners because for beginners, there are many things to work on before actually moving on to your strength and stamina. So you'll see me swinging. You can use swing your backhand side. You can also do it alternately. You can do a forehand, backhand swings. You have to gradually work your way up. Do not immediately go to the maximum movement as you might hurt yourself. The purpose of using heavy racket would be to enhance strength and endurance. But we must do it with a lot of care and caution. So I always like to start slowly and work my way up. So you see me just simply getting a feel of hitting the shuttle, moving it, hitting it upward. You will notice that coming from a heavy racket and shifting back to your regular racket, movement, hitting, hitting to the back will feel like a breeze because it becomes so much easier. So you see me doing the shadow play using a heavy racket. You will see a lot of players do this because this is one of the safest drill. There's not too many sudden, you know, sudden movements or sudden reaction with your racket. So you have to watch out when doing these drills that you're warmed up really well. Again, that's to avoid injuries. Now, I always like to um, practice with heavy racket, but then after, you must get back to your regular racket and finish with your regular racket so that your body doesn't feel heavy all throughout or you don't end up feeling heavy. Once you shift back to your regular racket, it will feel so much easier. So this time, I'm actually hitting in front. I start with simple, um, you know, restricted area. My main goal in doing this is to keep my racket up and using my arm, wrist, strength to press down the shuttle. Make sure that you are doing your movements correctly when using a heavy racket. That's the crucial thing there. Sometimes because the racket is heavy, our movement might change. So it's best that you have a clear mind 
or maybe a coach that actually tells you and reminds you of your movement to make sure it doesn't change because of the heavy racket. So this is um, defense and actually a heavy racket is a good practice for your defense because you're trying to hit it strong to the back. In the beginning, you might miss a lot or you might feel like your movement is very slow, which is normal. But when you get back to your regular racket, you will feel the big difference. You will feel like your regular racket is so much easier. Power in smashes is what you are looking for. You can work on having a good jump smash. The video on your screen will teach you how to do that. Catch my next video so you can level up your game and become a smashing success.